Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Healing Hands Prayer uh, Closet. Today is 4-17-2023. It is 8.59 in the morning. Um, I am getting a bit of a late start. I really wanted to start earlier this morning, but things got in the way. So um, let's pray. Father, thank you so much for today. I welcome you, Holy Spirit, into this time. I pray that you will come and and be and do and move and um, touch through me as, as I pray, as we pray together, Lord, you say in your word, wherever two or more are gathered in your name, you are there in the midst of them. <clears throat> and actually, I think it says two or three in the midst, and you are there in the midst of them. And Lord, I pray that you will be here because there's me and the other person on the side of this video. And I pray that you will touch us touch this time bless our ears and our hearts and our minds and i pray that you will do um, do your work through us do your miracles in our lives in jesus name we ask amen so today god led me to um, psalm 46 chapter one i might read it to the end but this just just speaks out what we're going through right now um and about what God is about to do. Um, God, I'm, I am very prophetic. So when when I look at something, I think of the future, not just here and now. Um, and uh, God led me here, and I'm like, yeah, that's right. God, it, the title of the chapter is God, the refuge of His people, and the conqueror of the nations. Okay. So um, lately, I've been keeping up with some of the stuff that's going on. Um, between the deep state and the white hats and and all that and that it's been a really interesting um, interesting uh, find between what's going on you don't hear it in the main news media and main news media won't tell you the truth so you really can't listen to the main news media many people that have come um, into my my where I work um, have said no I don't, I've stopped listening to the the news. I know I don't never listen to the news anymore. And it really is. It's you can't listen to everything you hear um, in the news. So, you know, um, there's a lot not being told. And if you want to know what really is going on, you got to look deeper. And um, anyway, so um, Psalm 46 just kind of screams what God is about to do for the people, for his people. And um, so we've been under uh, a lot of duress from um, from a very um, I'm trying to think of a diplomatic word. <laughs> it's not coming, but I think you know what I'm saying. Um, some people in in government are just very evil, and it is not holy, and it is not right where what we're seeing um it's not right um so god's gonna step in and he's gonna make things right he's gonna make it holy and um so this is what god said or what david wrote in um and what god said because god inspired it, um in chapter 46 to the chief musician a psalm of the sons of korah a song for Alamoth. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake and its swelling, with its swelling. I mean, that alone you know, God, it, it had been prophesied through other prophets that there will be a shaking. And there is. I've seen, I've had quite a few visions that stated that it, this time, I, if that's coming, it, it's kind of like God stepping his foot down. And those, you know, when, when you throw a rock in the water and you see those ripples that go through. I saw that when God stepped down on D.C. and there was a ripple and that went across the land and um it it's kind of a shaking that way you know god is resetting the, the back to righteousness 
and um, we will see. Um, I think there will be a time of peace. It does say that in his word that there'll be a time of peace. Um, but, you know, that doesn't mean everything's going to be perfect. That just means that God is, God is getting evil out of the way. It is not time for his return. I have sought God on this and um because I've been kind of tossed about it. I'm like, you know, we don't know the day nor the hour. That is true. We will never know the day or the hour. And um but God is like, I have to my glory has to fall first. So when his glory falls, you can probably start looking for him to come. But until then, we will see his glory fall. And when God's glory falls, that's when things are changed. People's lives are going to be changed for a, for forever. You know, so um, there, you know, so though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, there is a river whose streams shall make glad the city of God the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. This is verse 4. I'm moving on. And God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. Um, and in the NIV version, or in another version, it doesn't actually say fail. Um, but this verse, 46.5, it's, it's on my mouse pad. <laughs> I found it online. And um, it says, God is within her. She will not fail. That's Psalm 46, 5. I love that, that, um, I love that promise. You know, we're given a promise that God is within us. We will, his church will not fail. If he is in our midst, we will not fail. We will not fall is what the NIV says. She shall not fall. And um, so, um, it, to not be moved, you know, we're a mountain that's not going to move, you know, um, kind of, we're not really a mountain, but you know what I mean? Um, when it says she shall not be moved, I think of mountains that you can't move them, you know, in Jesus, in the new Testament, God said, um, you can say to this mountain, be thou removed. You know, he's talking about this, a seed of faith. And um, he said that the um, that you could say to this mountain, "Be thou removed," and it shall be cast into the sea. And you know that's true. But if we are with him, he is our rock, and that rock is not moved. Okay, that's what I mean. So we're kind of like that rock. You know, we're not a rock, but he is in us. But we are kept that way and um, helped. The rest of that verse says, God shall help her just at the break of dawn. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. Just at the break of dawn. You know, nighttime is not always um, a, an easy time for people. Some people find it very hard um, to um, uh, to get through. They, they're, Some children have a hard time with the nightmares and um, the boogeyman under the bed, you know, <laughs> not that he's really there, but you know, Satan does such work in the dark, you know, and then just God shall help her just at the break of dawn and just at the break of dawn, they're awake and they're so happy and they survive the night, you know, uh, you know, and I, I don't want children to feel that way. My heart goes out for the children who are hurting so bad at night. And you know, they're, they're even some adults, they, they've had some really bad experiences that really need, um, they really need healing from, and um, they need a, a better way, you know. They've been through some evil stuff and they just wanna get out of it. They just wanna get away from this ick, you know, the stuff that just drags them down. They wanna be happy, they wanna be, um, they don't want to be sad anymore. They want to be uh, loving God. They want to be, but they feel like they're not there. They're they're missing it somewhere, you know. So, uh, you know, and God is like, I'm right here. I just just reach out and touch me, or reach out for me. 
cry out to me. I'll come. Uh, I'm right here. I'm I'm waiting for you to turn to me. You know. So um, anyway, that's um, I love that that section. That promise is so encouraging. God shall help her just at the break of dawn, and um, I love that. Okay, so moving on. The nations raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. In Jesus' name, amen. (laughs) Come behold the works of the Lord, who has made desolations in the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts up cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot of fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. I love that, don't you? What a wonderful, encouraging word. Um, I really love how uh, much encouragement we have coming for us now. We know that this time has been difficult. We know it's been very chaotic, very weird, but then God steps in and he's gonna, you know, bring peace, bring joy in the midst of all this chaos, in the midst of all this trials and, and troubles that we have, God is with us and he's bringing that peace. We just have to focus on it Um, because it's easy to get our eyes off the truth and on the the circumstance. But when we realize our circumstances are nothing next to God, God is over all. And when we look to him, all that just kind of melts away, you know, and I love how it's said. um, uh, He uttered his voice the earth melted. I feel like the earth melted would represent um, our troubles are melting away. He utters his voice and in his, in his voice is life and peace and joy and love. He is love. So he can't do anything but that. So, and he can't do anything. He is peace. So he can't do anything but that. He can't, he's can't be unfaithful to himself. And, and in the new chapter in the New Testament it says he is faithful he cannot deny himself so it is very important that we remember that all our troubles are it does, they don't they don't go away but they seem insignificant when we keep our eyes on him and they a lot easier to deal with when God takes over because our anxiety makes things so much worse than they need to be All we have to do is keep our eyes on him. Okay, so let's pray. Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you so much for your promises. Thank you for your voice in our heart, in our life, that that brings that peace, that love, that joy, that, that compares to nothing. And all the issues of life, all the problems that we deal with are melted away at the sound of your voice, because you are beautiful, you are loving, you are absolutely good, and an absolutely good God can't do anything evil and won't bring anything evil to us, but you will bring peace. Now, we don't always understand why you do things the way you do, but we do trust you, because your word says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you for being over all. Father, I pray that you will deliver those from witchcraft. Father, I pray that you will bring healing into their minds, into their hearts. Father, I pray that you will um, devastate the enemy, devastate the enemy in their life. Bring them a ray of hope that they that they run to, Lord. Give them the, the, the desire and the, the willpower to get away from all that, Lord. In Jesus' name, Father, I praise you and I thank you. 
I pray for healing, Lord. I pray that you will bring healing wherever healing is needed. I pray that eyes will be opened, blind eyes will be healed, all the cataracts are removed from the eyes, and eyesight is restored in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. I, th I thank you, Father. Hair is regrown. Hair, all the hair follicles are cleared and hair regrows in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. feet are healed. In Jesus' name, every toe is free of pain, of burning. In Jesus' name, feeling is restored. Numbness goes away and the feeling is restored. In Jesus' name. Thank you for your loving heart and your desire to give us good gifts. And whatever we ask in Jesus' name, if we believe it is given, Lord, thank you so much. We come before you and we ask, Lord, that you will bring healing and hope and peace to the lost. Lord, wherever they're at, for children everywhere that are being trafficked, Lord, I pray that you will break off the enemy's power in their life and bring them back to their home, back to their rightful parents. Give those that don't have parents a home. Father, in Jesus' name, Break off witchcraft in our in our culture, Lord. Break it off. Restore our, our culture back to righteousness, we ask in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done, all that you're doing. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you make his face shine upon you, give you his hope and his favor and his peace. In Jesus' name, amen.